All right, people. Today I'm gonna try and look to see what I can find in this clutch. Uh, you had just seen the video on uh, starting this for the first time this year. Uh, today is really windy out. Definitely, I uh, definitely don't want to work outside on anything. So I'm gonna try and see if I can find out anything through here inspection cover here see if I can at least see if oh hey it's a new pressure plate or it's an old one my dad was saying sometimes uh, my uncle had it on his 550 he bought a new pressure plate and it wasn't torqued to the right specs and it wouldn't release and on the 550s you have to split those and he had to split it again and adjust that torque it down so I just want to see if it's something easy which probably won't be but you never know right it's worth a shot let's see if I can get you a good angle here that's not it. Oh, that's not too bad there. I'm gonna set you up on some mouse turds. All right, I'm gonna say that is half a nine sixteens. Like I would find one. I also got this for twenty two fifty five. The cables, some new cable clamps. This is a style where you just put the strip the end of the cable, put it in there, and then clamp it down. It's, maybe put that on at some point, but we did get it working okay now. So I gotta find some ratchet or something. There's two bolts. And that should come off. I should at least be able to see something then. It is quite windy out. 9 sixteenths, apparently. It is indeed. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to see through here, but I'm gonna do what I can do. I'm just more curious to see if the bolts holding the tension on the pressure plate or whatever aren't like backing out or loose or just seeing anything. You never know. seen it greasy what can we see in there we need some light I have some light Uh, 
I'm not gonna be able to do much without that cover going back. Bell housing cover. So I guess I'll work on that. Kind of figured that was gonna happen. All right, I forgot my magnet mount for the GoPro. Well, that's cool. And this bit is really hard to get out. So I'm gonna use this guy to speed things up a little bit. That's the plan. here I think I can get at a lot of this then Sassy. I did say hell. And if anyone gets offended, well, my argument is it's in the Bible quite a few times. So, can you argue with the word that's in the Bible? So in order to get this to slide back, I'm not going to worry about the PTO shaft that comes from the back. Because I know I won't be able to do the clutch with that in, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. I can always move this by pulling on it. Because there's two ways of getting it out of here. Move the tractor away from the wall or cut a hole in the shed and pull it through that way. And I think there's one option that's better. Got to have more than one option, right? Okay. I'm not even going to worry about this, actually. I think if I can get it to go back far enough, I should be able to at least see something going on in there. So this is going to have to come off. This thing. I don't know. I'm just gonna find out as I go. I might need the steering thing off here. Either way, this bolt has to be taken out. So. 
Let's get started. I'm going to use the drill as much as I can. Nine sixteenths, very common on these. Then about 10 times before the project's over. Okay, so this thing here, I'm going to get this guy off of here. I don't know what it hooks to with the thing. I might want to take it off right here. I'm thinking, and then this should be able to slide back. I don't know what that ends hooked to. Don't know. I don't exactly know for sure. I'm trying to remember uh, how this hooks to the. Well, this I can just pull back. If I loosen it by the clutch pedal, I'll just pull right out of here. Cause that ain't gonna come back with that there, I don't think. This should. And the spring I can just take off. Real easy. It just hooks onto the throwout bearing arm. The other end hooks to here with a clotter pin. So we need a pliers for that. Let's see here. Well, let's just get out some of the bolts. This one here, I don't think, has to come off. Here does this one actually. Good design there, Oliver. Well, at least this way, if I get this far, we can uh, go ahead with the clutch to get to that point. Get a new one or whatever it needs, or a pressure plate or whatever. Whatever we find in there. I can't even get enough for it. Uh... Reason one click. All right, so let's see what we got on this side. I suppose I'll just. Remove the starter and be done with it. I might as well take this sheet metal off on this side too, I think, because once this starts going back, it's probably gonna, who knows what. 
Start knocking into stuff. All right, let's see if the wind will knock you over. I'm sure it will. I guess. I'm gonna brought one. I figured I need one. Well, I really don't want the inside to turn. And I'm just trying to. I need to get a, a narrow one for that. Narrow wrench for this. Yes. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeed. She broke free. You know what I hate when doing this stuff? You go with the wrench and it gets really easy for the wrench and then as soon as you grab it with your fingers and then it tightens up. You can't get it. What does that piss me off? I'm just gonna loosen this guy, I gotta get the alright stuff. Let's get this off. Well this I can take now with this. Trying to turn there too. I don't want anything to turn underneath that because there's a wire. There's a wire on that on the inside. This should be just a stud, I think, or a stud going with a big fat connector. But either way, I don't want it to turn. So I don't like that. I'm gonna need a socket for that guy too. Well, I'll take the starter first and I'll have more room to work on it. Right? Right, people? Right? Right? I don't think there's any on the bottom. There can't be. This right here is the lowest one. This is all open here. Inspection plates on the bottom there. As Arnold Schwarzenegger would say, I'll be back with some wrenches. You shouldn't say the wrenches part. You guys, you gotta get down. Actually, while I'm here, I'm gonna take the side panels off and leave and get that done. I'll get my gun. Probably set the GoPro to not shut the screen off. Kind of annoying, but I'm gonna go through batteries like nuts.
Dennis. Um, not too much. This needs to go off. We're gonna get this, this off. This should go off by moving it. I gotta get the starter off. Because once we're at this point, there's no turning back. We might as well get it done here, you know? Because I don't think you need the hood and the tank off. What you got for wrenches? Uh craftsman. Really? Look, my daddy came and helped. Look, look. Yes. I got nine sixteenths, five eighths, and half. And I have them in gear wrench or regular. But I gotta go and get some stuff. You got nine sixteenths gear over there? Yes, I do. Right here. Yeah, if you want to, those bottom ones are a pain in the butt. I was going to get a socket for them. Yeah. I have a couple sockets out here, but I don't have a ratchet. So I was going to use the drill. But. Are you done with the sticks? For now. I ain't dealing with that wind. Oh. You're taping? That wouldn't usually go down after supper. I did address just the clutch pedal on here, like how far the it pushes on the rod. And I couldn't get it to, to release anymore. I think it's all the way on the end. If you look at that inspection plate, you have it over there uh, on the axle. You see it? See how, yeah. see how greasy it is? Yeah. So I don't know what we're going to find in there. Hard to say. I'm going to see if I can get this thing to stay. Let's see here. I'm going to see if I can not unhook that stuff. My daddy says no. No to that. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Who's your baby? You think I would lose subscribers or gain subscribers if I sang a little bit? I don't know what to tell you. For once in my life, I got lucky. Women don't comment on that. I found, what? I found the ignition wrenches in here. Yeah. So there should be a 5 8 one in here. Maybe it doesn't go that big. 3 8 Might not have a 5 8 one. Well, I can use it for the little one anyway. 932s. That's not it. 516s. Where are you going to unhook them? I can't get it off with them. I tried. You don't need to get it off. 
Just leave it hang? It can hang there. Yeah. We're sliding this back. Yeah. I would, I would get a block of wood to support it a little bit. Could do that. Well, it would probably be fine. It might try to go down after we take that back. I don't know. That's why I would put a block of wood under here to support it. Yeah, we'll look for one. There's one on the jack right there. Where are you putting all your bolts? Bend over and I'll show you. Oh, let's see here. Who's your daddy? That'll be fine. Actually, sure. it's on the carb here. That'll be fine. That's a good stay there when you drag this back. We'll find out. It, it ain't gonna do much with that wire in there. No. So where are we actually at? Can you get this guy off, right? Out in the rod? Yeah. So do you want to work on that and I'll work on the rod? Okay, loosen it back there and pull it out. Yeah. You're probably gonna need like a vice grip or something to hold that pipe, huh? I have channel locks, but I shouldn't really get a pull them. Remember him? Put me on the price of the rate. Huh? No. That's going to be a weird size. Side. Not yet. That one's hard. Yeah. Oh, so she said. I have some sockets out here. Oh, I don't have a There's no room to move the wrench there. Nope. No. I see that. Need a good extension, I think. And then three ace ratchet. I'm gonna go around one up then. Extension and a ratchet. Yeah. Then I think she's ready to go back, huh? We're getting there. I don't think we have to pull this off yet. No. No, we don't. We don't want to pull more than we have to. Alright. Got a ratchet. And an extension. I do indeed. You want her? Yep. It extends too, like this. If you want. I like that ratchet. It's a Walmart one. Stanley, but I like it. Well, Stanley bought out a lot of the tool companies, so it's not like they're the worst. I think Stanley DeWalt is the same, I believe. Right? I don't know. DeWalt? Yeah, I think DeWalt and Stanley, I believe, are the same in Black & Decker. Could be wrong. I always could be wrong on everything, but... Okay, we got clutch cover movement. Half an hour of videoing and my battery's down to 16%. Might have to invest in some new batteries. But I usually bring some along with me. I think you're ready to go back with it. You're gonna have to watch this spring though. 
Or should yeah. we try and get it out? Mine's walking. Walking and talking, didn't you do that at work? Yeah, they're prone on that. What's happening to that spring? Um, it's fine, it can go inside. Let's go back till we hit that. All the way. There we go. Pretty greasy in there. Yeah. Okay, we got some some wear right here. It's hitting what? Is that thing supposed to be? Is that grease or what? Yeah, it's just grease on that. Looks like it was tore into. Oh, you can't see it, but there's wear right here. Do you have some like here? Yep. I see it. What is that hitting on? Throw out bearing? No, because it's not that big, right? No. Well, it's I'm, probably when you push the clutch way in and, and it gives you that little little click click click. Yeah. That's probably one that's doing that. Well my guess just looking at it right now is that's not a new clutch and pressure plate. That's my guess. What would you say? It don't look very new. This is you with all the grease inside. Oh, there. You got some on a stick in here? Uh, I have their light, the DeWalt one. You see it? It should be in. Okay. Now you probably can see more on this side. going on in here I don't know it's awfully greasy too yeah mighty greasy too much greasy huh? bread and grease greasy is your dad used to eat bread and grease yep or my grandpa you ain't taping this are you yeah It's not called taping anymore, it's recording. Because tapes were from uh, cassette days. Really? They had tapes inside. Tape. You know. So what do you think about that? I think there's plenty of grease there. <laughs> These are the ones that I was wondering if they were finger tight. But that's your action here. These just mounted to the flywheel. Put, put the light right here on so look at, kind of look at that. I was, if I was to say, I would say nothing was done in the clutch here. Right? As far Probably. As, as far as restoring goes. Right. Painted on the outside and then. See these cracks? Yeah. I don't like them. It's also greasy on the flywheel. Look at all that. Yeah. I would say I wouldn't even bother trying to do anything with it, putting it back together. I think we're at the point now where new, new and then show work, huh? Yep. 